Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica. Today I'm going to be bringing you a little bit of guidance for the upcoming 1111 portal happening obviously on Friday, November 11th. This is going to be a reading where I just pull forth some messages and some guidance for these energies and how this particular portal will be impacting the collective. And also, for those of you that are interested, I am doing my live stream manifestation activation tomorrow. Um, I'm super excited about it. I, I apologize for some of you who tried to get in and you couldn't. Um, I had to get more seats for the webinar software and have just been able to do that. So if you are interested in joining us, there's still time to register for the event. And even if you cannot make it live based on prior commitments or work schedules or time zones, um, you can, when you register, you are actually actively energetically participating in the event when it's live, even though you will be listening to it later on a recording. So the details are all there below. Um, I'm really excited. I, I've been prepping and uh, Spirit's brought me some beautiful messages about the intention for tomorrow. I've channeled a lot of uh, things I'm going to share with those of you that have joined. And it's going to be very, It's it, let's just say it's not quite what I expected um, to come through. So I'm really honored for those of you that have felt called to join. And um, so if you're interested, do check it out. The link is down below. But let's take a look at what energies, what are some of the themes coming up for this 1111 portal? Very magical time of year, every year. But what is what is what are some of the themes coming in for this portal? Okay. So we have source, connecting with the energy of source, connecting with the golden light and interesting because this is something that I'm doing tomorrow in the activation um, collectively with everybody. So spirit's kind of laughing at me a little bit right now because this is exactly part of the vision we're going to be going through tomorrow. Um, so definitely an opportunity to connect on a much higher level. This is an opportunity to ascend. And at the same time in our ascension process to establish boundaries, this is also about breaking out of any spiritual boundaries that we have been keeping ourselves in. We may feel like we may have been free and outside, but instead we've been keeping ourselves contained in something. Here's this man who's climbing up a ladder to get out and to move over into this distant land. And even though he's outside... He's not contained in a home necessarily. He is actually breaking out of any boundaries that have been keeping him from um, his ascension process. So definitely an opportunity to be um, breaking out of some boundaries that have kept us small, releasing ourselves from anything that spiritually does not serve us any longer, and breaking out of the illusions. Mm -hmm. What illusions have been keeping us bound? What illusions have been keeping us from living our highest source energy? Where have we been living in a perceived world that has been trying to make us believe that we are free and we are part of earth, but it's actually been contained? This is, I just keep getting drawn to this boundaries card because this, this card speaks to the fact that we believe we are free we believe we are here on on earth but there's so much more to experience there's so much more to be seen there's so much more to be revealed and anything that has been based in illusion where we have been living in an illusion where we have been participating in a, an illusion we are we're breaking out we are breaking free So what is the um, theme for this particular portal for the collective masculine energies, the masculine frequency? What is the theme for this portal for the divine masculine frequency on the planet? Seeing the truth, revealing the mask. No longer hiding behind a mask. And activating the light from true vulnerability. I'm being drawn to the fact that this male figure in this card for the masculine 
is connected to all that there is. It's very galactic. But see how he's radiating the light by revealing his truth? It's time to remove the mask of illusion. Because sometimes the mask of the illusion hides the depth within. And I'm just being drawn to the fact that when this mask was on this masculine's face, that his light was not able to radiate. It was blocking his light from radiating. Yes, it was radiating a little bit. But when it comes to facing, removing the covering of his face, the false mask, the false ego, being afraid to shine fully his light, it's time for that to be revealed. It's time for that to be removed once and for all. Seeing the truth, speaking the truth, living the truth. And not being afraid to radiate your light. What is the energy that's um, coming in? What is the theme for the divine feminine energy in all of us for this 1111 portal? Self-love. I knew that was coming out. You know, it's funny. When I was shuffling and freedom um, in general, not just for the divine feminine, but I was getting this. I saw this card as I was um, picked up this deck and I go, yeah, if that doesn't come out, I'm going to be very shocked. But you see how both of these, both the masculine and the feminine, are radiating the light outward from their physical body, from their ethereal body? There is a healing of the inner child. The nurturing of the inner child. And the truth of everything is when we... When we truly discover and embody the energy of self-love, then we break out of the illusion. We connect to our divinity and we begin to go into vast new territories. What is the combined energy of the masculine and feminine for this portal? What is the combined energy between the two energies? What are they both contributing together sound interesting there could be communication there's harmony i can't keep being this is obviously there's musical notes emanating from this figure's mouth here sound waves and again the masculine and feminine blending their frequencies in perfect harmony to emanate it out. Could be a very harmonious time for communication. Hearing the call, hearing the music. Could hear musical, musical messages tomorrow. Maybe some of you are manifesting confirmations or synchronicities through song tomorrow. I'm saying tomorrow. I mean on the 11th because that's I'm recording this on the 10th. What else are they doing together here? The rainbow dragon. Okay, sharing the light. I feel drawn to read what this is about, this card. So the race, this is uh, this is all about floating with the golden ascension rays. The rainbow dragon is making you aware of what is required for you to act in truth and honesty. Bringing the vibration from the golden ray, the rainbow dragon opens connections to your higher self, the central sun and the angelic and ascended master realms while centering you in the present. Through the dragon's movements, the frequency and vibration of the rainbow spectrum dissipates negative blocks and karmic debris but only if you're willing to accept the change required to break down walls and barriers that stop you from moving forward. Powerful and unstoppable, once you activate your rainbow dragon, prepare for swift and sudden change. Bringing harmony, interesting, I was talking about harmony, 
bringing harmony and change in a positive direction. The rainbow dragon is the protector, harmonizer, destructor, and creator all in one. Connecting to the elements, the dragon is here to assist you in raising your vibration and consciousness through the energy of elements. As the creator of action, you are encouraged to follow your truth with integrity and honesty. And right now, honesty is required in all areas of your life. And when you begin to unburden yourself, you allow yourself to be open to the gifts of the universe. And now is the time to get busy. Ask the elements for assistance to work through your present issues. Which element can help you in your current situation? Focus on the rainbow dragon and see which color are you attracted to in the card. So I'm going to put this kind of get it away from all these for a moment. I realize some of those might be going off the camera. But focus in on this card and which are you immediately drawn to? What stands out to you the most? And maybe there's a color that also repels you. Notice that as well. There may be resistance in the area connected to the color that you are resisting. So I will read to you the meanings of the colors because this has been wanting to be seen. So if you were drawn to the pinks and the purples, it represents the earth element, which is about grounding, nature, practical life cycles, balance, and harmony. If you were drawn more to the white, that represents the element of air, which is about breath and meditation and clarity of consciousness. If you were drawn to the blue, that is about the element of water and accessing and freeing emotion, truth, and expression. And again, we have the sound here and we have truth here. If you were drawn to the reds and the oranges, this is about the fire element and that this is all about finding your passion and your purpose. And if you were drawn more to the purple, that is the element of spirit, placing you on your life's direction, harmonizing yin yang energies, emergence of one with spiritual law, identifying patterns and rules, governing life, creation, awareness, and higher frequency. So again, the message of this rainbow dragon says, be honest with yourself and others and release your burdens. And uh, I have a little sneak peek on tomorrow's um, manifest manifestation activation. And there is an aspect that has to do with releasing the burdens. Uh, we will be doing that in the session, um, not only for ourselves individually, but for the collective. So um, not surprised that that is coming in because that is how spirit guided me today. So let's look at what else is being activated for both the divine masculine and the divine feminine with tomorrow's manifestation portal. Actually, yeah, let's look at first what actually I'm going to get another thing. One second. I don't, I normally have my questions written out and I'm just going by the kind of free forming it today, but what energies are being released for the divine masculine with this portal? What is the divine masculine collective energy releasing? Remember our masculine within self all have it. What is the masculine energy releasing? Anything that's based in deceit, dishonesty, anything that is an illusion. So this is about truth versus illusion, right? The truth is the truth and the illusion cannot be hidden any longer. So the masculine is releasing the energy of deceit, whether this is self-deceit, whether this is things that have been hidden, things where someone has been deceptive, um, because remember, what's activating for him is seeing the truth, seeking the truth. Because he already knows the truth and he's been somewhat hiding it here. But he chooses to, with this portal, remove this mask so that he can live in his authenticity and his truth. What is being released for the Divine Feminine Collective with this portal? Interesting. Rest and rejuvenation in the reverse. So I feel like this portal, if many of you have been feeling a little bit restless, a little bit um, uncertain, a little bit overworked, 
overwhelmed, if you have not been taking care of yourself, if there has not been self-care, remember we have self-love here as well for what's being activated. If you are worried and you are spending your time more focused on helping others when you have not supported your own self, you are not being of service to others. And so what is being released here is where you have not given the love to self. And sometimes not giving love to self is part of the illusion that we are releasing, where we believe that if we give more and more and more and more, that somehow we will receive more and more and more and more. And sometimes we need to redirect that energy into self-love, giving ourselves the love. Because the moment that you love self fully, then you begin to manifest all that it is that you desire. And so it's time to nurture self, to choose self, because in the choosing of self is how we are able to better serve others when we are in alignment, when we are in our balance. This is the divine feminine not being in balance. And remember, the feminine aspect of self is the person who wants to nurture, care for others, help others. It is innate in the feminine energy. Yet when it is out of balance, we can overgive, overdo at the expense of self. And this is actually a message that's been coming through recently in the readings. So with that, let's just get um, a final message here for what is being activated with this 1111 portal. And again, um, we will be activating in the session tomorrow for those of you that are going to participate, whether live or later in the recording. But for those not, let's see what, uh, for those not joining us and or for those even joining us, we're going to look at what is being activated with this 1111 for the Divine Masculine Collective, please. What is being activated in his light, light body? And he's getting the Akashic Records, clearing old stories, releasing past lives, and freedom. Again, we are in a cycles of karmic completions. Anything that has been keeping us from being our authentic selves, that has kept us from living from source energy, that has kept us trapped, living in illusions. This is an ancestral portal of healing this time around. It's a freedom from past life karma, stories that originate from past life karma, past life stories, past incarnations. But here he is being released of anything that has kept him from living in his divinity. And what is being activated for the sacred feminine in the collective with this portal besides self-love? So the truth here, the truth self set you, set you free, correct? Hey, um, kiddo, one second. Kiddo, I'm recording. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hey, I'm in the middle of recording. You're on the recording right now. So wait, can you just wait? I'm literally going to be done in two minutes. Okay, love you. <laughs> well, she just manifested something she wanted. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, for those of you that don't know, the kids weren't in school today on the 10th because we had yet another hurricane in Florida. And luckily, it wasn't nearly as bad. And there was a big event that was canceled tonight that had been rescheduled from the previous hurricane. I mean, it's just like never ending here. So apparently they're now going to have it. So she's very excited. <laughs> Maybe she just, I was like, it sounds like there's a bird cackling in the background. And it was my daughter running across the house to tell me her good news. Well, anyway, hopefully you guys got to share in that excitement as well. <laughs> you know I'm recording. What are you doing? But anyway, it's all good. <laughs> all right. 
Um, so what is man? What is what is in the process of activating for the divine feminine? See, she was she, she was activating her voice, was she not? There you have it. Okay. All right. What is a final guidance here? In term, well, not guidance, but what is the message of what is activating for the sacred feminine with this eleven eleven portal, please, for the collective? The inner earth. The base chakra, strength and security, laying foundations. It's interesting because um, I did a reading. I was wrapping up my last of the private readings that I had um, needed to deliver um, before closing up. And this came out in that reading. This card came out in that reading as well. And I think it's very apropos for where we are now. But what we have here is truly radiating the light from deep within. This is the sacred feminine. This is the security. This is the strength within. And it's not an accident that here is the light from within inner earth, within Gaia, Mother Earth, the feminine. And here she is radiating light from within, radiating light from within her core. And so therefore, we are beginning to activate new earth from an inner place of alignment, an inner place of activation. For those of you that um, have been feeling a sense of uncertainty, trying to find the strength to feel secure within self, I mean, let's face it, the energies have been extremely uncertain for quite a while, a few years at this point. But it's almost like the, the world begins to open up for us once we connect fully to our divinity. And again, it's not an accident that both, both these um, cards are radiating the light from within. And here, this is what is being activated. And I'm going to actually pull a, a, another final card here for what is being activated for the collective, both masculine and feminine combined union, the union of the feminine and masculine to bring harmony and, and balanced and integrated consciousness. So what is activating within those who have found a balance within them, within self and have reached unity consciousness and are living from this powerful energy? What is activating for the union of the masculine and feminine with this portal? We're getting the crystal skull wisdom, clarity, divine healing, high vibrational energy. So I'm going to read from this book because I think this is highly relevant here. Divine healing, receiving full clarity, the high frequency. Crystal. I can spell, right? I still know how to do that. Okay. It says crystal skulls have said to have been the ancient healing tools and wisdom keepers in the ancient civilization of both Atlantis and Lemuria. And it's interesting, we're getting inner earth as well here and the Akash. Um, this is deeply connected to those of you that feel drawn to uh, Atlantis, Lemuria incarnations. It says quartz crystal is known for its capacity to amplify energy and store information. And when a crystal is carved into a particular shape, it can bring healing and clarity to what it represents and uncover memories that could be essential for revealing truth. Here we are with the truth again. And it's the crystal skull, and here is he is removing a mask, but he's radiating the light from the skull. And remember, these are two different decks. And look at the imagery being almost the same. Can't make this stuff up. Um, therefore, crystal skulls are wonderful healing tools that bring clarity to the mind and healing to the headspace. This card transports us to an energetic space representing the crystal skull consciousness, and it delivers high vibrational frequencies into our energy field so that we can experience clear-mindedness. 
If you have ever felt called to crystal skulls or have an interest in them, there's a possibility you have connected with them in a previous incarnation, and they are gateways to clarity and potential. So the message here is all aspects of your life are becoming clearer at this time. Expect to become aware of what you need to step away from and to have a more focused path. You may have felt indecisive, but now you are downloading direct guidance from the hardest source. <laughs> Again, <laughs> so that you can live and express yourself in a more authentic way. Know that downloads often appear as your inner guidance encouraging you to move forward. The key is to recognize the calmness that they bring. This is a time of clarity and connection. Crystal Skull downloads are here to bring clarification to what you have been receiving within. In order for the next phase of your journey to unfold, you must follow the information you have received. If you know what you need to do to heal and grow. No, you know what you need to do to heal and grow. If you've been asking for a sign that the healing work you've been doing has been successful, trust that this card is the message you have been waiting for. I am... Um, Pay very close attention to the messages and the clarity that you receive during this 1111 portal. Be open to the messages, be open to the clarity, because it is a very um, potent time for receiving these energies. And like I said, those of you that are going to be on the um, activation event, you are going to be experiencing this real time with all of us um, across the globe who will be participating in this event live. So, um, and even after, sorry, not just live. All right, my beautiful loves. I hope that this was helpful. This is way longer than I anticipated doing because I still have a lot of work to do to prepare for tomorrow. But I hope that this has been helpful and I send you so much love. Bye.